I was a big college party promoter. And then mm-hmm. something called the Facebook.com launched and Emory was one of the first like eight or 12 schools. And I was like, wait a second, I can use this to like get to all the kids. And I contacted Mark Zuckerberg and he mm-hmm. put me in touch with Eduardo and we started negotiating. And I was trying to invest a hundred grand for 10% of Facebook. We had emails going back and forth. And then Eduardo wrote me, hey, Mark wants to launch 32 more schools in two weeks. He's decided he doesn't want to take any capital. I found out years later that I had no chance of getting in because Eduardo was pushed out at that point. I had broken up with my high school sweetheart. She was at BC. He was like, if you ever want to come up to Boston and still talk to us, come by. And I look back now and I know myself. If I would have gone up there, I might have gotten in, but I didn't want to go up there because I was too afraid to see my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> um, and I also didn't understand what that it was going to be. was a very expensive relationship. Yeah, but you know what? I didn't understand investing at that point. I just thought it was a way to get my parties out there. So mm-hmm. a year later, Peter Thiel invested, I think, a million dollars for like 10%. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, my God, I could have made a million dollars. And that loss opened me up to the idea of investing. 